a KQED television production. It's like holy mother of comfort food. Throw it down, it's noodle crack. <laughs> you have to be ready for the heart attack on a platter. Okay, I'm the bacon guy, right? <laughs> Oh, it just did one. a jig every time I dipped into it. It just completely blew really? my mind. I felt like I had a mouthful of raw vegetables and dry dough. Oh, yes. please, I want the dessert first. Yes. It, uh, <laughs> you told me you had to wait. <laughs> Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... IRG has thousands of natural stone surfaces, all in stock today. IRG, online at marblecompany.com. Bay Area Subaru dealers. Opportunities to test drive the 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrek Hybrid are available at local Subaru dealers. Subaru online at Subaru.com. Located at the Southern Gateway to Napa, Jamison Ranch Vineyards offers handcrafted wines, chefs' food pairings, and weekly live music. JamisonRanch.com. Oakland International Airport. Offering new flights to Europe, Hawaii, and all across the USA. Oakland International. Park close. Fly on time. With whole toasted sesame seeds, garlic, ginger, and other natural ingredients, soy ve sauces and marinades bring a taste of Asia to your favorite dishes. Support KQED's vehicle donation program and donate a car to help raise funds for quality public media. Powered by cars. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check Please Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests and each one recommends one of their favorite spots and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, Karen Halstead is in marketing. Now a mom with two kids, she wants to empower new parents with the knowledge that they can get out and enjoy meals in restaurants even after kids. It's just setting aside the time. Lifestyle blogger, journalist, and hip-hop performer Jody Brett Kelly <laughs> is from New Zealand via a 15-year stopover in London. Her eclectic and well-traveled taste buds extend to traditional southern flavors. Who'd have thought? Corporate sales manager Shanam Devani remembers savoring dinners with his family at his Persian spot. Now he's bringing his son to dine there to listen to the stories of times past while tucking into the same dishes he's enjoyed for years. On Green Street in North Beach, it's called Make-A-Day. My dream was always to come to America since we did not have a freedom in Iran. At age 17, I came here to go to college and I had to support myself. So I started working in restaurants at night. Now I've been doing that for like 51 years now. My name is Mahmoud Khususi. My nickname is Mo and the name of my restaurant is Meikade. Meikade means house of wine, but it's more than that. In a Muslim world, alcohol is forbidden, but in this little oasis, you can serve alcohol. It's served by beautiful ladies. We didn't have any Meikade in Iran for 400 years. That's the reason I, I chose the name Meikade for my restaurant. Persian cuisine is the aromatic cuisine, and the most expensive spice in the world you know, is saffron, and the best comes from Iran. I could say all the restaurants put together in San Francisco, they do not use saffron as much as we use in this small restaurant here. We use the top quality saffron, the best rice that comes from India, and I put my chefs against any Persian chefs anywhere in the world. I want my customers when they come over here to have a wonderful experience with the food that is different but yet familiar and uh, sitting in a restaurant that is the most aromatic restaurant in the whole city of San Francisco. Okay, Shanam, this place has been open for 30 years. I mean, that's remarkable in the San Francisco dining scene. It has been, and one of the beauties of this restaurant is that in the Persian community, I believe it's the oldest one that's lasted. It was a meeting place for everyone. When all the, the Persian events were held in San Francisco, everybody would meet there first. There was a wait for an hour or two outside. Yeah. But what's happened over the years, the reviews have come in, so now it's not just catered to the Persians. Right. You have everyone else from the Bay Area come in there. My favorite there is the, called the Sultani, which mm -hmm. literally means fit for a king. It's a filet mignon skewered, and you get a second skewer of ground lamb and beef. And it's uh, grilled over a mesquite with basmati rice. 
One of the traditional salad that we have is called the Salad Shirazi, and it's diced cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, and it's more like a condiment to the basmati rice. And then they make their own yogurt with dried shallots. It's called right. mastamusir. Karen, what did you have when you went to make a day? Was this a surprise to you? Yeah, it was a surprise. I didn't know much about Persian cuisine. Um, I had a Persian cocktail. I had something called the Persian, oh, Persian Lady. <laughs> and it was vodka, and there was a lot of pomegranate juice mm -hmm. Uh, things That's on the menu right. and it was delicious and I, I enjoyed the appetizers the most. We had this eggplant and garlic warm delicious thing and we dipped the bread into it and it was just really yummy. And you get the pita bread and the <laughs> oh, radishes just, and the right? Oh it was Correct. just amazing. I loved that part. I traveled once through the Middle East for for five months actually backpacked and this was the best pita bread and the best basmati rice I've ever ever had. Both of those things were just so light and fluffy and clean tasting. You're and so they're just hungry, right? <laughs> 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 it was unbelievable. The pita bread we actually had to stop ourselves eating for it because the portions are so, so huge of the food. I actually chose the tongue. We had a, a lot in New tongue. Zealand. Lamb tongue, yeah. Yes. So it was incredibly moist and soft. And I loved the saffron with it. It made it very sort of delicate. The only thing for me was the sour cream, maybe a bit maybe a bit too creamy for me. Eating awful, you can eat head to tail, really, of the animals in there. One of the things I liked on the table was that big um, dish of, I think it's called sumac. It's like a, um, a maroon colored spice, and I just loved it. I've never seen such a large portion of that on any table, so it was really fun to sprinkle that over Correct. the Correct, that, that comes from a flower. Just like saffron does, they use real Iranian saffron. Mm -hmm. You know, it's expensive. expensive mm -hmm. yeah. And that's why you get that melts in your mouth flavor. And that's what they're known for is kebabs and meats. And, kebabs and yeah. the stews, yes. And the yes. stews. Mm -hmm. They also have a lot of vegetarian dishes. I went with a bunch of girlfriends. I had a few vegetarians at the table and they were very happy with what Great. they had. Um, I had the steak, it was uh, sliced thin. I think there was some lemon or lime on top. And the plates of rice were the largest plates of rice I think I've ever seen. <laughs> I could have fed an army. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but um, it was fun to taste all the plates. I had lamb shank um, with mine, and it was just so delicious, and it falls yeah. right off the bone. And what else, yeah. Jody, did you well, have? I because want to go back for that, actually. No. You want to go back but, for the lamb yeah, stew? Yeah, we had the, um, the lamb stew with the, with the lentils, and then it had this really unusual thing where it had, like, little fries, like little pickup mm -hmm. sticks on the mm -hmm. top of it. It's called the qayma. Oh, it was, yeah, I've never seen that before. And it, just the warmth of the stew and then the crunchiness of the pickup sticks and... Um, you wouldn't think of lamb stew as being light, but somehow it was. And the We're service very... was amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, we went on a um, on a sort of slow Tuesday night, but there was loads of stuff, you know, people coming and bringing the bread and all the condiments and, and filling up your water glass all the time. But also there was like a warmth there. They treat everyone like family. I mean, it's always been that way. That's one of his successes, you know? Mahmoud is there greeting everybody. Sasha is there, his right-hand person. You really mattered. Your opinion mattered. They really wanted to impress you. It was great. And also, the fact that you could have a really good conversation. I'm, right. I'm sounding like an oldie, but these days, <laughs> uh, these days I like to have a good conversation with people instead of yelling at each other. <laughs> One of the traditions that we have is the Persian tea at the end. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a digestive, it's actually the best part of the meal because you just sit back. I use alcohol mm. for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just sit back and that's when actually the conversation over the table with with whomever you're, you're with. We had this amazing, um, the pear with the um, Shiraz reduction and then the ice cream with pistachios Correct. in it. And the combination of that creamy rich reduction and the, and the sharpness of the pear and the ice cream was just incredible. I thought that was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the baklava, normally I don't like baklava, but this was, it wasn't too sweet and cloying. It was just right, just fluffy mm -hmm. and just right. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say, I tried one of the most unusual desserts I've ever had. I've eaten a lot of desserts, and uh, this was called fal falude. falude. I knew you were yeah, going to say like that. Yeah, it's like frozen rice noodles. It's like noodles. shaved rice noodles, yeah. but frozen, correct. And then yeah. they usually have it with the, the Persian rice with the pistachio. Right. You have a little bit of each. Yeah. They go really well yeah. together. Did you like it or not? I see your face uh, and you're going, You know, <laughs> we all tried it and it wasn't my favorite, right. but I'm glad that I tried it. You know, Did it was you have something it with totally ice different. Cream or without? We tried every dessert on the menu. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this so. is your restaurant. Shana, wrap it up for us. Best Persian cuisine in California, without a doubt, maybe the country. All right, and Karen? 
I would go if you want to try something new and different with a bunch of friends. Okay, Jody. Don't fill up on the pita bread, but white linen and very gracious stuff. All right, if you would like to try Make a Day, it's on Green at Grant Avenue in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-362-8286. It's open every day for lunch and dinner. Reservations are recommended, and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $35. Unusual menu items and combinations using quality ingredients make this small location in a residential part of Noe Valley worth the trip. Creative cocktails and ice cream flavors round out the menu. On 24th Street, it's called the Little Chihuahua Mexican Restaurant. I'm originally from New Zealand. I've met my wife in Chile, and then we came to San Francisco. Our idea was to have a restaurant that was comfortable, with the neighborhood feel, lively, fun, but casual. My name is Andrew Johnson. I'm the owner of the Little Chihuahua Restaurants. When I was searching for items for the restaurant, I found a vintage sign that said the Little Chihuahua Mexican Restaurant. When I started to share that name with people around me, I got a reaction, positive and negative, and I liked that. So we opened our first restaurant in the Lower Haight District, and then we're here in Noe Valley, and we opened our third location in the Mission a year and a half ago. When we put the concept together, we knew where the food was coming from. If I don't eat those products, then I wouldn't want to serve it to my customers. Fresh, healthy, sustainable, cooked fresh to order. Food is not sitting around, the proteins are not sitting on the steam table all day long. We cook those items to order for every dish we serve. The recipes are all my own. It's not traditional, it's more Mexican inspired. On top of serving great food, we wanted to have margaritas, sangria. We have great Mexican beer on draft. We have a lot of fun with what we do. We take a lot of pride in seeing people come back, and that makes our day. All right, Karen, how did you discover the Little Chihuahua? They have three locations. Right. And this one's the one on 24th in Noe right. Valley. I happen to live three blocks away, so I guess I'm lucky <laughs> that way. Awesome. And it opened up, and we were just so happy to have it in the neighborhood. And why is that? It's, it's well, not a traditional taqueria. Let's, no, let's... It's, a, it's a few steps up, if, if not more, than your traditional taqueria. And um, what I love about it is it's casual and fun, but it's a little bit stylish. It's delicious, and I can bring my family there and uh, not be judged. <laughs> <laughs> it is very family friendly. For Very sure. family friendly. Yeah. It's uh, we usually go for an early dinner around five o'clock, mm -hmm. and it's usually just packed with people we know from the neighborhood. And what does your family order? Well, we try to stop eating all the chips. The chips are just mm -hmm. so delicious, delicious. yeah. Oh <laughs> and that salsa bar is just too much fun. Right. I like trying all of those. Um, my kids usually get a quesadilla. No surprise there. But I like to have the chicken tortilla soup. Um, my absolute favorite is the salmon taco. It's a big, huge piece of salmon. It's really crispy and crunchy with a little bit of uh, guacamole sauce and a crema on top and everything comes with that cabbage slaw that's so yummy and no mayonnaise which I love it's so good I can see you going mouth watering. yes <laughs> I know it's a lot of mouth watering at this table <laughs> yeah. when you went what did you have I had the um, pozzoli raw heart which was unbelievable and I'm with you on the no mayonnaise and not too much cheese it was incredible like almost like a soup and then it had the crunchy on top with the um, the cabbage yeah. and the radishes gosh that just that combination was really incredible. I'm detecting the a crunchy. theme with you the, yeah, the, 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 the crunchy and then the crunchy on the top I love that I love that well you know the owner Andrew is a kiwi He's, oh, he, well, yes, there you go. he's from New Zealand and was an executive chef. Well, I think we, once you get the crunchy and something green on top, you feel <laughs> right. so much better about everything else. You know? <laughs> and and um, you're a little bit quiet over here. Well, that was just uh, one of my favorite um, things about uh, Little Chihuahua was a salsa bar. Yeah. I really thought that most salsa bars and taquerias can become dirty. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. this one was spectacular. I mean, it was yeah. constantly cleaned by the staff, mm -hmm. which is a very big plus. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, the quality of the salsas and the different ones, that was very good. Now, I know it's very geared towards your neighborhood. I agree. But I that. guess that's yeah. what's the charm about it yeah. also. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It all depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for, again, an authentic taqueria, 
this is in your place. Exactly. We had the uh, enchilada, and mm -hmm. one was cheese enchilada, mm -hmm. and uh, the other one was a chicken enchilada. Mm -hmm. The quality of the ingredients is high. Right. You can tell. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it was served lukewarm. Uh, mm -hmm. That was the only thing. It was. I guess it's a testament to them not maybe using microwaves, mm -hmm. because most uh, taquerias probably use mm -hmm. it. And but it wasn't melted enough. You know, mm -hmm. it wasn't hot. Other than that, the place looks really pretty for a taqueria, you know. Yeah. It's trendy, it's that yeah. kind of place. Yeah. And, and did, one you, thing did you have drinks? Because they have, they have a margarita <clears throat> from agave, so people know tequila is from agave, blue agave, but they have a, basically agave wine, which is sort of just a, another name for low octane tequila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they can do an agave I, margarita. I hadn't tried the agave margarita until this trip, and it was just fantastic. It's double the size of a normal margarita, I think. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> and you can never tell that it's not tequila. It's just right. delicious. And they also have sangria for people that like that too. But this mm -hmm. agave margarita, oh my gosh. Let's talk a little bit about that plantain oh burrito. My God. Because that's yeah. one of those unique well, combinations I'd, that they're known for. I know, it's incredible because that you probably have it so many yeah. times, but the plantain, I always think of it as mm -hmm. a combination between pineapple and potatoes. You yeah. know, it sort of has this mm -hmm. tropical feel to it. Right. And it just add to the burrito, it just added this caramelized mm -hmm. um, quality with the beans. They told me that the beans were cooked in, in pork, you yeah. know, so you have stock. that sweet savory almost. Oh, here. it yeah. was, that was incredible. And then I actually, I had three things and I took that home and I I kept slicing into it. I'll just want to slice. <laughs> <laughs> slice. You have a lot of control. I eat them yeah, exactly. Out. I can see how people get totally addicted yeah. to them. And in terms of affordability, where do you place this? Um, well, I found that called? affordable, of mm -hmm. course. You know, especially affordable. in a nice neighborhood yeah. like Noe Valley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, our tab. This is not your $3 taco. Right? No, no, but it's not like a $12 yeah. taco either. You know, yeah. I thought it was very reasonable. Okay. Tequila ice cream. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't have oh, that. Yeah. So I had to go oh. back. I had yeah. both flavors of the ice cream. There's a Mexican chocolate. It's all from Humphrey Slocum. Mm -hmm. And it was Mexican chocolate with cinnamon. And then there was a tequila, almost limey flavor ice cream. And it was so and they make refreshing. It just for the little chihuahua. Yeah. It was so oh, wow. refreshing and delicious. Wow. I would almost go back just for the ice cream and the margarita. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Karen, this is your spot. Give us a quick wrap up. If you want a casual, fresh, delicious Mexican dinner, Definitely go to Little Chihuahua and don't forget the ice cream. <laughs> All right, Chanel? It's a nice neighborhood taqueria if you live in the neighborhood. <laughs> okay, and Jody? An eclectic taste on Mexican food and I'm totally addicted to the plantain burritos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you would like to try the Little Chihuahua Mexican restaurant, it's on 24th Street at Castro in Noe Valley in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-648-4157. It's open for lunch and dinner every day with brunch on the weekends. Reservations are not accepted and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $15. If you ask just about any Sauvignon Blanc drinker what they sip, chances are you'll hear, oh, I like ones from New Zealand. Many will even add from Marlborough, New Zealand. Now, how did one place get such name recognition? By creating a signature style. This stunning wine region located on the northern tip of the South Island of New Zealand is the center of the country's wine business, accounting for nearly 80% of production. It's the long days and cool, crisp evenings. They're the reason Sauvignon Blanc shines in the Wairau River Valley. A combination of climate and ideal soils create savvies with citrus flavors and fresh herbal aromas. But don't stop with Sauvignon Blanc. Sample aromatic, fleshy Pinot Gris and world-class Pinot Noir from Marlboro. It's a trifecta of taste. What to drink. A rich tapestry of aromas, tastes, colors, and sounds await you at Jody's pick. Southern flavors with a touch of New Orleans and a hint of California combined with an excess of bourbon, yay! <laughs> On Broadway in Oakland, you can find them all at Pecan. Everyone thinks of Southern food primarily as comfort food. Well, it is, but we've dressed it up. Essentially, we put an after five cocktail dress on it, and it's fine dining with flavor, hipness, and with a flair to it unlike you've seen anywhere else. My name is Michael LeBlanc, and this is Pecan Restaurant. When we were trying to come up with the name for the restaurant, we wanted to have something that had a southern flair to it. My wife just came out one day and said, why don't you name it Pecan? You're eating them all the time. I am from New Orleans. New Orleans is a place where we have good food, good drink, and good music. 
And if you take that with the other things that I've been exposed to around the world, what I wanted to do is have a gumbo of all of those different experiences that I had. Gumbo, pecan, that's what makes Pecan Restaurant. The presentation of the food here at Pecan is elegant and it's refined. Sofina Yuang, our executive chef, just puts out a great presentation and something that makes us very proud of what we do. We have over 106 bourbons and, you know, think about it, I'm from New Orleans, bourbon, Sazerac, what else would you have? After you've experienced the food, the ambiance, the music, the diversity, the people, is we want you to walk out here feeling like you got a big hug and we give you a hug. Okay, Jody, we're going to talk about pecan, but first, you got to tell me about this hip hop. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I oh, love no, it. We found out. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm a member of this group called Platinum, and it's a hip hop group. We're seasons dancers. Seasoned. <laughs> we um, old is such an ugly word, isn't it, Leslie? <laughs> all right. So when you're not boogieing at pecan, what are you eating? Okay. Well, first of all, you know the big thing I actually, Leslie, I love about pecan is you arrive, and there's just that old time sense of occasion as soon as mm -hmm. you get there. But then there's the fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's your go-to dish, the That's, fried chicken. I think everybody's go-to dish, well, I mm -hmm. won't speak for everybody, but it's just beautiful. It's, it's really light, and then inside the chicken's really moist. And then they bring this truffle honey to your table, and this truffle honey divides the masses a bit, you know. <laughs> and um, you, you're supposed to pour it, so it over. So absolutely love okay. or hate it. It's sort of like the Beatles, Rolling mm -hmm. Stones kind of thing. <laughs> and um, yeah, I love it, because it's a truffle tastes like earth and then you pour it over and just the combination of the crispy and the moist chicken is, is just great. I love your affinity for um, for opposites attracting. What did you try? Uh, well, we first had a round of drinks at the bar and I have to say they were so nice to us. They brought us a round of that delicious cornbread right when we oh, got there. Um, so it was great to have with the drinks. We almost didn't even want to go to our table because <laughs> we were having so much fun. Um, but then um, I had the molasses pork, which was delicious. You know, it almost looked like a rose. It was like this big, beautiful, piece of meat and it was on a top of a butternut risotto like a grits kind of a thing uh, so delicious but I kept reaching my fork over for my husband's gouda mac and cheese on the side oh, of that oh, fried chicken yeah. so oh, good. I don't think he got a bite of it I was oh, trying to like it yeah it's oh, so, yeah. I really like this place actually yeah it really uh, it grew on me especially when we first walked in mm -hmm. like you mentioned they take care of you so well and you just feel comfortable right yeah. you, you know it's, and it's so beautiful inside it really mm -hmm. is the decor is really well done. We went all out. We had like three. <laughs> we had three appetizers, which was um, I can't even remember some of them. We had the. You had too much bourbon. Oyster. <laughs> no, we had the oysters. We had the the, the, the cornmeal, fry, the cornmeal yeah. Uh, yeah. oysters, and then we had the blue crab dip. The mm. blue crab dip was absolutely just delicious. You Chock know? full of crab. Just blue yeah. crab. Especially we're so used to Dungeness crab on this side. Nice. It's a it's a good change. We had uh, the flat iron steak. The flat iron steak was actually served um, with a bone marrow, which was very interesting. And it was glazed with, with the marrow, obviously, but with salt on top. We had the fried chicken with the sauce on the okay, side. Okay, so are you on the love it, hate it side of the truffle honey? That fried chicken was so good, I didn't need that. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know, okay. honestly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I didn't need You're that. You're standing on that yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> I'm standing on that one. Okay. Um, we also had the catfish. I had the catfish. That was absolutely my favorite. Mm -hmm. The catfish was delicious. Mm -hmm. You know, again, it's something that we don't get to have here. Right. Very often. You know, it's all yeah. salmon or halibut right. mm -hmm. or your typical. Right. The way they made this catfish was just... What was so alluring about that? Just catfish. the way it was done. It was. It just it was moist, but it didn't fall apart. You mm -hmm. know, catfish yeah. can it fall apart. It had some texture. It yeah. had some texture. It, it held itself. But I also love the presentation. They made Southern food look beautiful. Speaking of Southern, I have to talk a little bit about the bourbon mm. because people know of my affinity um, and uh, experience with wine. But I have to admit, a brown spirit like <laughs> whiskey. <laughs> Bourbon, Tennessee whiskey, rye are are my favorites. So they have a, a list of over a hundred 
different selections for bourbon. Mm -hmm. It's astounding. Um, so if anybody is a big bourbon uh, lover, and yeah. did you guys indulge in the in the in the brown spirits at oh, all? Of course. Yeah. I started <laughs> with the I started with the the, the bourbon flight, okay. <laughs> and it was so good. I oh. didn't try it neat or straight or whatever you say. <laughs> I had the Tennessee margarita, uh -huh. which was so delicious, and um, my friends had. Um, the Sazerac and the Old oh, Fashioned. Nice. So we had a nice round of cocktails. Those and they were just, rides. yes, they were right. so delicious. Yeah. And again, they were just so warm and welcoming. They explained everything to us. It was so good. Our server, this gal knew her stuff. Mm -hmm. So really walked mm -hmm. you through I all mean, the dishes. Yeah. And she right. was a true professional. Right. Yeah. When you ask the waiter or waitress, you know, what do you, what do you recommend? And they actually come up with an answer, you right. know, instead of, yeah. oh, everything's good. Right. You know, yeah. and we like, I know everything's good, but just, you yeah. know, have a, let's have a conversation about this so I really like that mm -hmm. okay desserts this heavy pie <laughs> so, yeah, we, we shared that. one three of us my wife and son we yeah. shared because after all that I mean right. it didn't look like what you would expect the mud pie to be so I was a little surprised when it came out right. on the table but then when you tasted it, it was kind of like a deconstructed version right. of it, yeah. and it was yeah. really delicious and the same with the banana pudding is deconstructed right. and then you just it reconstructs mush it and yeah. you, <laughs> yeah. 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 that's right you wash it down yeah. a little bourbon yeah. 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 Oh, life is good all right this is your spot Jody give us a quick summary Pecan is a restaurant with a great sense of occasion and don't forget to order the double dredged chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Shanam? A beautiful spin on southern food. Okay, and Karen? Total package of a restaurant, great food and great decor. If you would like to try Pecan, it's on Broadway at 23rd in Oakland. The telephone number is 510-834-1000. It's open for lunch and dinner every day with brunch on the weekends. Reservations are recommended, and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $45. I have to thank my great guests on this week's show, Shanam Devani and the traditional Persian cuisine at Make a Day in San Francisco, Karen Halstead, who introduced us to new flavor combinations at the Little Chihuahua Mexican restaurant in San Francisco, and finally, Jody Brett Kelly and Pecan in Oakland, where a portfolio of bourbons are complemented with southern flair and fun. Thank you all for being here. We really want to hear your thoughts about today's show and your experiences at any of the restaurants we've been talking about. So go to our website at kqed.org slash check please, where you'll find a lot more information and details on all the restaurants featured. You can watch a segment or download a whole show. You can also read my notes on the wines we're drinking today. They're great. And don't forget, you can stay in touch with us via Facebook and Twitter. So join us next time when three new guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers. 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 <laughs> this show is available on demand and online. To watch an episode, find restaurant information, or to apply to be on the show, go to our website at kqed.org slash check please. You'll also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by IRG has thousands of natural stone surfaces, all in stock today. IRG, online at marblecompany.com. Bay Area Subaru dealers. Opportunities to test drive the 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrek Hybrid are available at local Subaru dealers. Subaru, online at Subaru.com. Just 45 minutes from the Bay Bridge, Jameson Ranch Vineyards offers handcrafted wines, chef's food pairings, and weekly live music. JamesonRanch.com. Oakland International Airport, offering new flights to Europe, Hawaii, and all across the USA. Oakland International. Park close. Fly on time. With whole toasted sesame seeds, garlic, ginger, and other natural ingredients, soy vase sauces and marinades bring a taste of Asia to your favorite dishes. Support KQED's vehicle donation program and donate a car to help raise funds for quality public media. Powered by cars. KQED television production.